Hello, I'm Daniel with GeoVision Technical Solutions Division, and in this video tutorial, I want to go through configuring GeoVision. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and configure Windows. So we'll minimize the GeoVision system after we installed it, and then we'll go to Start, and then inside the Search, we're going to type in ncpa.cpl. That's November, Charlie, Papa, Alpha, dot, Charlie, Papa, Lima, and press Enter. This will pull up our network connections box. And what we want to do is we want to make sure that our local area connection has a static IP. So I'm going to right click on it and choose properties. Now this connection has no internet. This is going directly to PoE switch, which has the GeoVision IP cameras installed on. The preferred method is to have one network card for your PoE switch going to your cameras and another network going for the internet for remote view. So I'm just going to double click on the internet protocol version 4 and I'm going to choose to use the following IP address. I'm going to put 192.168.0.2 for the computer's IP address, 255.255.255.0 as the subnet, and 192.168.0.1 for the gateway, and the same for the DNS server. This is the information that our GeoVision IP cameras use. So I'm going to go ahead and choose OK and press OK again. And it's going to identify the network. I'm going to go ahead and close this. And then I'm going to go to the screen savers. So I'm going to right click on the desktop and go to personalize and go to screen saver and then change power settings. Then I'm going to go to change when the computer sleeps in the bottom left. I'm going to make sure that it is set for never. I'm going to save the changes and then I'm going to go back in here and go to change advanced power settings. I want to make sure my hard disk is set for never. And allow hybrid sleep is turned off. And on a desktop computer, you'll see PCI link state. You want to make sure that is disabled. And then press apply. OK. And go ahead and close these windows. And now we want to go ahead and open up the multicam system. Click the hammer and screwdriver icon, system configure, IP camera install. And here we're going to go to the GV IP device utility. And this will scan the network for the GeoVision IP cameras. Once it scans the network, you'll see your cameras right here. We'll go ahead and select both of these and then drag and drop them over. To select multiple files, you just hold down the shift key. We're going to go ahead and choose the export button, which is the folder with the green arrow pointing up. And we're going to save this in documents. It's going to be NVR1. Now, I've already had one from a prior install. I'm going to go ahead and choose yes to overwrite and close this. And then I'm going to choose import camera. And you want to import the camera setting generated by IP device utility. I'm going to go ahead and choose yes. And I'm going to browse to that file that we just exported and choose open. Now in here, it'll automatically start to connect to the IP cameras. As you can see, they're connected there. I'm going to go ahead and choose OK. And then we're going to go ahead and configure the multicam system. So we're going to choose the hammer and screwdriver icon, which is the configure button. I'm going to go to tools and disable video loss beep. Then I'm going to go to configure, system configure, and then startup. These are the options that I want the NVR to do when it starts up. First thing I want it to do is auto monitoring. And then I want it to go to webcam server and control center server. This will allow for 24-7 motion recording and network access via the web. And then I'm going to go ahead and choose OK and then click the configure icon, go to system configure, and then I'm going to go to system idle protection. I'm going to make sure to check mark auto monitoring. This will allow the system to automatically start the monitoring if it's ever stopped. Same thing with the webcam server. If the webcam server goes down after 30 seconds, it'll automatically come back up. Now we want to go ahead and click the network icon, which is the bottom right, it looks like three computer monitors, and choose webcam server. And I'm going to go to the JPEG tab and make sure create JPEG slash GIF image files are checked. 
Go to the mobile tab, make sure mobile is checked. Go to video and drop this down to say actual size. And then I'm going to go to the server tab. And a lot of times the HTTP port 80 is blocked, so I'm simply going to change this to 81. I'm going to press OK. Now what we've done is we've allowed access on the mobile phone, and with IP cameras we've allowed full resolution over the internet. And then we change the port 80 to 81, just in case it gets blocked. Now we need to set up our storage location. We're going to go ahead and minimize the NVR. I'm going to go to Start. I'm going to go to Computer. And I have a second partition here called AP. I'm going to go ahead and open that up. I'm going to right click and I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it video. I'm going to go ahead and close this window and then open up the NVR. And then I'm going to click the hammer to screwdriver icon and then system configure and general settings. Down here in the bottom right, you'll see set location. Go ahead and click that and go to storage group folder. Now, just keep in mind that you have different storages and different paths. Now, if I had eight IP cameras, I would, I would prefer to have four cameras going to one hard drive and the other four going to the other hard drive. So I could set up two storage locations and have different cameras going to different storage locations. I'm going to go ahead and choose X here, and underneath the path, I'm going to select that new path that I have. So I'm going to go to the AP and choose Video, and then I'm going to delete the C drive. I'm going to go ahead and choose OK, and OK. Now in the top right hand corner, you'll notice that there's 40 gigabytes for storage. And that's about it for the basic configuration of GeoVision. So once the computer starts up, it's going to automatically start recording on 24-7 motion. You're going to have internet access, including the mobile devices, and you've set up a new path to store the video to.